Greetings, friend. I'll show you an amazing Sudoku trick that you can use to solve very hard puzzles. So you don't have to worry about getting stuck on puzzles like this. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. You want to start by looking at the digits sequentially to find all of the restrictions. You notice with this one, you can't make any marks or solves with that. So let's move on to the twos. Okay, with the twos, same thing. There's only one two. Nothing we can do there. Go to the threes, however, you'll notice with these two threes and these two threes, the only place a three can go in block four is right there. And then with this three cutting across row three and this three coming up, you got a pointy pair of threes in block three, which restricts the threes of these two cells in block two. I want to thank Radar Village for this wonderful puzzle. It's another one of the new setters, the Smart Hobbies, that I'm featuring this month. My computer solver rated this puzzle extreme. It used several forcing chains and a forcing net just to solve it. Very advanced strategies. However, I'm going to show you an amazing trick that the computer it doesn't know about. But you can apply it and it'll make this extreme Sudoku much easier. Nothing else with the threes. Let's continue on with the fours. With all these fours looking into block eight, the only place a four can go is right there. Nothing else we can do with the fours. You go on the fives, you'll see with this five cutting across and this five coming up, you got a pointing pair of fives right here in block three, and then fives here in block six. All right, move on to the sixes. Only two places for a six in block two. And then with these two sixes, places for a six in block seven. And those sixes will be pretty important here later on in the puzzle. These sevens, two places for a seven in block two. These two sevens and this seven. Snyder sevens in block one. And then you'll notice with these sevens and the seven here, Snyder sevens, you know, anytime there's two possibilities, we mark it, we call it Snyder notation. And Snyder sevens in block nine. All right, move on to the eights. With all these eights looking in block one, you can solve this cell for an eight. And then with these two eights and this eight, Snyder eights in block five. And with these two eights, Snyder eights in block nine. Okay, click on the nines. There's only one nine. Can't make any marks or solves with that. And that is it. Nothing else you can find. You can go back through Snyder notation. Not going to make any more marks. There's no easy solves here. So you need something more powerful if you want to make progress in this puzzle. And before I show you that amazing trick, I want to hear from you. What did you do at this point in the puzzle? Please, please drop in the comments. Help me grow the best Sudoku community on YouTube. Share your feedback with me and the other viewers. And I appreciate your feedback so much. I answer each and every one and I learn so much from you. So normally you can make one of two choices here. Your first choice is you could try looking for all the single candidate strategies. And so you highlight where all the ones could be, all the twos could be, all the threes and so forth, and see if there's any advanced strategies that way. I did not find any. You're not going to get very far doing that. The second choice is you could look for buy value cells. Those usually will clue you in on other advanced strategies. And so if you look here in row two, column three, you might notice it can't be a one three, five, six, seven, eight, or a nine. So that's just a two, four BVC by value cell. If you look up here, you'll notice this cell could be a one or two, but it can't be a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Okay. This cell right here could be a one, but it can't be a two or three, it could be a four, but it can't be a five, six, seven, eight or nine. And then this cell right here could be a one, but it can't be a two, three, four, five. It could be a six, but it can't be a seven, eight or a nine. And so you just have these four by value cells and the only two of them see each other. There's not enough here for you to make any solves. There's not enough here to make connect any strategies. 
And so you're kind of another dead end. So now what do you do? Well, you do have a third choice. You want to look for the intended solve path. And so try to figure out why Radar Village named this puzzle Crossroads and what given cells there are and what kind of patterns are made that you can take advantage of. And so you probably notice there's a lot of givens in column one and in row nine. Okay, and they're the same. So then you have a one, two, or nine possible here because you have the three, four, five, six, seven, eight already. And you have a one, two, or nine available here. That's got to mean something. You also have this one, two up here that kind of plays into the one, two, or nine a little bit. Okay. Other thing, crossroads. Which of these blocks kind of looks like a crossroads? You might look right here in block five. That the one, two, or nine are not in block five. However, if you're in this cell or this cell, you'll notice that whatever you put in this cell would affect this because it ends up having to be in one of these two cells. So it kind of creates its own little crossroad. You have a little X or a little plus sign right here. There's got to be something going on. So let's do some coloring and use this crossroad block five as our mechanism to see what type of solving we can do. And so with the coloring, we're going to do try value three different cells here. We know that these three cells have to be a one, two, or nine. We don't know which one's the one, which one's the two, which one's the nine. So we're going to designate though that this is all the same value. Whatever's yellow is the same value. Whatever in purple is the same value. And whatever is in blue is the same value. So let's use this mechanism here. You might see that this purple cell cutting across that the purple cell, where could it go in block five? That value has to be in one of these two cells, right? And if that's the case, and this cell sees this cell, uh, these two purples, and this blue sees it, this has to be a yellow, right? It can't be purple, and it can't be blue. So this cell right here, row nine, column five, has to be the same as row in column one. Hopefully you understand that. We're just using a little bit of logic with our coloring which means this has to be the purple cell along row nine. Okay, now with this purple and this yellow, this is a one, two, or nine. It can't be purple or yellow because they see, they both see it. This has to be your blue cell. And this is a very important point we have to make here. Not only do we know this is the blue cell now, we know it's the same cell as this. We know it can't contain a nine because the nine right here, so whenever you see this, you can apply those restrictions to all of the same color. So we know this has to be the one or two. And like, all right, what's the big deal, Timberlake? You didn't solve it. The big deal is now we know the blue can't be a nine. So we know that one of these, yellow or purple, has to contain a nine. That's going to help us make our solves. Because look at this cell right here. This is a yellow. So where can the yellow be in block five. It's got to be one of these two cells, right? And it has to be one of these two cells. And we know that the nine, since it has to be here or here, is got to be in either the purple or the yellow. A nine can't be anywhere else along row five. Do you understand that? We know a nine's got to be one of these two cells. It has to be, or it's right there. And since that's the case, a nine can't be here, here, or here. And because of this nine, it can't be here or here. Where can the nine go here in block six? It's got to be right here. It's the only place you can put the nine, which will displace the Snyder five. This is beautiful. If you want to learn more about coloring, you can check out this tutorial. But we're not done. We still have some more deductions you can make and more solves you can make by using this coloring. And so let's see what else we can do here. Now you have a nine of five right there. Where can the sixes go in block six? Well, with this six and this six, they're now restricted to these two cells. That makes them a pointing pair of sixes. So now where does that restrict the six in block three? Can't be here. Can't be here because of this six. This has to be your six, which displaces that Snyder three. Okay, you're like, all right, Timberlake, that's good. Cool, awesome. You notice now you can displace that six and solve this cell for six. Okay, that's helpful. Now what else would you want to know? I want to figure out with our coloring, where can the purple cell go in row one? Can't be here because that's the blue cell. Can't be here because that's the yellow. It can't be here because one of these has to be purple. 
And so whatever that value of purple is, it can't be there. The only place left now to put a purple is right here. So this has to be your purple cell. And you're like, okay, what that means is that it can only be a one, two, or nine now. So this seven can't be there. You can solve this cell now for a seven and displace that Snyder seven and solve this cell for a seven. This is beautiful. And this is gonna help us out with these solves, knowing that we can restrict the colored cells to one, two, or nine, or one, two if it's blue, is gonna help you make progress in this puzzle. So now with this purple cell, where can the purple cell go in block seven? Can't be here, going down this way. And because of this purple, can't be in any of these cells. The only place it can be is right here. So this now has to be your purple cell in block seven, which means it can't be a six. Boom, and now you can displace that Snyder six and solve this cell for a six, which is gonna allow you to put the yellow cell right here, that's the only thing left. So you can do one, two, nine, and you can do this as a yellow. Do you see how that works? So you can continue to grow the coloring as you're making progress here in the puzzle. Uh, but we can do a little bit better than that even. All right, let's follow these sixes. You got these two sixes here. It means the only place for a six and block four is right there, which means this has to be your one. That's gonna be your six displacing that Snyder seven. And now you can displace the seven from here. Solve this for seven, displace the Snyder eight. Try to gobble up all of these marks as you go. And with this one, now that has to be your four. And then what you might see is this could only be a two. And so since the two is right here, this has to be your one. And whenever you solve a digit with the color, every digit of that color is, is going to be the same, right? So you can solve every colored cell the same way. So that has to be a one now. And so now you know that these can't be ones. The ones have to be the blue cells. So those are just the two nines, okay? And you can put a four or five right here. And so then you know that this actually has to be a yellow cell right here, and that's going to be a two nine. And then this is going to be a one three, okay? So I made a few more marks here, but we're not done. We solved all the sixes in the puzzle. We solved all the sevens in the puzzle. This is a two nine, which means this can't be a two or a nine anymore. That now has to be a four, and this is gonna be your one. Awesome. And so I solved that for a four, with this four, and now you can displace and disambiguate the five four right there. Nice. And let's see if we can do some more solving. We haven't even figured out the two or nine yet, but we're about to. Look at here in column three. You notice you have a one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight filled out. You just need a two or a nine. Well, the nine is right there. That means this has to be your two, and this has to be your nine. So now we know all of the purple digits are nines. So you can solve them all for nines, which means all the yellows have to be twos. And there, now we just did that solving, and we know we can solve all that. And when with these two nines, you know, you can solve this for the nine, you know, that has to be the purple of these two purples, okay? So let's remove our colors, because we solve pretty much all the colored marks and see how much further we can get now. And this is gonna be nice. You notice right here you have a one, four, five missing. You got a two, three, seven, six, seven, eight, nine. We need one, four, five. Use my neat naked triple trick. One and four right here, four repeats. You can solve all three. This has to be your five. The only place the four goes right there, and this is gonna be your one. We have a full house across row four. The only thing I don't see is a five, so you can solve that for a five now. Nice. And then right here, you have two digits remaining in row two, a two and a three. Got two right here, pull on up. That's gotta be your two, displacing that Snyder three. Okay, and now that we made that mark, let's see what else we can do here. You might notice that across here, row seven, you have a two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you need a one, three, and a nine. Got the one and three right here, so this has to be your nine. So then with these two nines, you can solve this for a nine, solve that for a five, okay? And with these two fives and this five, you can solve this cell for a five now, awesome. And then with these two threes, you know you can solve this cell for a three, disambiguate the one three right there, looking good. And then with this one, bring it on down, that's gotta be your one. Don't see an eight in block eight, so that's gotta be your eight. Displace that Snyder eight. Solve this cell for an eight. And we have two digits left. With these two ones, the one has to go right here, and our last digit is a two. 
Now apply the coloring trick you just learned to this next puzzle. Thank you so much for watching.